Hello, Internet. Dan here, MarginallyClever.com. And today I'm putting together the box for the Michelangelo 2. And I thought, while I'm at it, I might as well make a video. And then those of you who get the DIY kit can follow along to make sure that you do the same thing. So I've got here one box kit, one female header, a hot glue gun already ready to go, my NEMA 17 motors, and unlike regular NEMA 17s, these have the, the D-cut shaft, which will make it much easier to attach your bobbins. One Arduino Uno, and one motor shield from Adafruit that I've already soldered together. So, let's get to it. I'm going to put this right up here on my lamp. Oh, wait, see, lamp, right? So, I apologize if it says, so shaky. Do you want me to fix this? To the YouTube. Let's get to it. It's turning out to be a, a gray day here in Vancouver, but I, uh, I find my best, I do my best to compensate for that. Stay cheerful, that's the way, right? So we've got, we've got our door, and I'm going to put that aside, and our wooden box pieces. Well, it seems on this piece I left a bit of tape after the laser cutter. Do, 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 do. I can't promise you won't get a free extra like that in your kit. This goes on the end, and then when the plug, when the plug comes in through here, this little weave will hold the plug right in the hole. And then the bland side goes here, the bland side, the only one that doesn't have any holes, will go there, and this goes on the end. Yeah, it almost holds itself together without glue, but we can't really trust that to work. And then the door will go on here. And the nice thing is the top and bottom, well, the, the top goes on. You can turn this around 180 degrees and it will still work. I mean, look at that. That box is holding itself together already. The glue almost seems like, like extra. Ah! Ah! Uh, no sooner spoken, right? Right. So, hot glue time. You'll notice you'll notice that I glue this away and not this away. I find I get a nice tight clean line there which works, you know, is aesthetically pleasing. I'm sure there's professional welders out there who do like, you know, seam welding who are going to look at this and go, oh man, he needs help. And to them I say, yes, please help me. Sure, show me the right way. Make me a video. That's good. Now for our motors. Fighting with the rubber band. See, this is a meter. And we don't need 
We don't need 10 centimeters. So I'm cutting that a bit short. Uh, a little tip. Instead of pulling with my right hand, I push with the thumb. That way I don't squeeze when I'm gripping and cut the end clean off, which would defeat the purpose. Make sure that this little pin that comes in the bag gets put on. That's where you get your power from. The power that comes in here from this, this connects to here, and the power from this drives this. So you want to have them both. Good. Power is connected. Honking my head on the camera. Always a great move in a movie. And there you have it. So this particular kit is uh, on its way to 3dhacker.com where I'll be, uh, where Andrew Mazzotto will be showing off everything that this robot can do. And um, so yeah, I guess you can tune in for chapter two over there. And And do do boo do boo 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 do. There we go. One fully assembled drawbot kit. It has been a beautiful day here, a little gray. My name is Dan, marginallyclever.com, and that's how you get her done. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.